This is a short video to show how to use the circuit construction kit for the FET simulation. So I've already opened the intro lab and you can basically just drag components into the blue part of the screen and you can grab some wires and then the other thing to keep in mind is if you want to rotate the wires or the or the battery, you just grab one piece, one end, and then you just hold it, and with your mouse you rotate it. And you can always disconnect things as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just connect these together where they meet. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. And then you can see how the light bulb lights up. I'm going to put a switch in so we can also see how the switch works. So I'm going to turn the switch to the side. And so you have to actually use quite a few wires if you want to make it look, you know, kind of square. So here we go. All right, so it's not on right now. I can turn I can click on the battery. If I wanted to remove it, I could hit the trash can. I can also change the voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and up the voltage. And um, you can change the resistance of the light bulb, but for now we're just going to leave it set at 10, so I don't want that to be adjusted at the moment. And so then you can grab onto the switch, and you can close it, and the light bulb lights up. And the brightness of the bulb will change if you change the voltage. So if I drop the voltage, you can tell that it's not as bright. If I increase the voltage, it gets to be larger. I can also see the uh, current that's flowing. This is the electron current. You can actually see the electrons, the negative charge. I could use conventional current, and that just means it's the flow of positive charge, and it shows it moving the other way. And I'm just clicking up on the top, and then I could also show values if I wanted to. I really um, would prefer that one not to be used at the moment. Um, and then you can use the meters that are on the side here. So if you wanted to measure voltage, you grab the voltmeter, you pull it around to where you want it, and then if I wanted to know what the voltage was across the battery, I put it across the ends of the battery and it reads what the voltage is. Now in this case it's reading a negative 47.5 and it really doesn't matter, the negative sign doesn't matter, it's just the polarity so if I switched these it would read the same value just positive so we would record the positive value. And we could do the same thing for measuring the voltage across the light bulb and that tells us what that voltage is. So if you're done with that you can put it back and then you can grab the other meter which measures current and to measure the current you just have to take this part that looks like a crosshair and put it over the wire that you're interested in measuring the current and then that tells you what the current is. If you were opening this up on a device that was embedded into a HTML file, so in other words if you were opening in a web browser, uh, you could also make this bigger so if you go over here to where the FET is on the side and you click there's options and one of those is to enter the full screen mode. I'm not going to do that but you could enter full screen and it'll take up your full screen and then you can just exit out of that. You can also change the size so you can decrease if you need more space to build your circuit you can decrease that as well. So the best thing to do is to play around with it and then over on the side there's an up, up and down arrows and there's some other options so you can insert a paper clip so if I pull this in here enlarge it. Oh, grab that paper clip, enlarge it. You could put the paper clip in the circuit so you can click on one of these where the connections are. If you hit the scissors it disconnects it and then you could insert the paper clip in that place and see what happens. I'm not going to do that because that's something that you would have to do but there's other items that are there to use and then if you're done with that item you could grab it and just put it back and use it. So I think that gives an overview of how this particular simulation works and you use the same simulation for the first three lab activities.